This screencast is based on Module 4, Lesson 25, where we start dividing whole numbers by unit fractions. It's based on the problem set, or practice set rather, but is incredibly similar to your homeworks, so it should be adequate to help you with that. Okay, with the first uh, group of problems, they want you to uh, fill in the blanks and draw a tape diagram and number line to solve. Okay, so let's start with that. We have the first problem. We have 5 divided by 1 third. So we'll draw our tape diagram. Our whole is 5, so we'll bracket the top and put a 5. We're going to partition this into 5 equal parts. Now, when we divide that into 1 thirds, we're going to find out how many thirds there are in each one of these. So I'm going to divide each one of these into thirds. And I'm drawing a dotted line here to distinguish between the holes and the parts. Now they want us to draw a number line underneath it. And I'm going to make this thirds as my unit because that's what my fraction is. It's one third. So let's start with zero thirds. And I'm not going to label every one. It's kind of cumbersome. So when I get to one hole, it's three thirds. And 2 would be 6 thirds. And 3 would be 9 thirds. We'll put our marks in there. We have 12 thirds. And finally we have 5, which is 15 thirds. Now we're going to look at the numerator to find our um, answer to that, how many thirds there are. Well, there's 15 thirds. We're going to draw another kind of number line as well. And we're going to say that um, if 5 is one-third of the whole, we're going to look at that second part here. 5 is one-third of the whole. Uh, if 5 is one-third, one what is the whole? So we don't know the whole in this case. And we're talking about one-third, so we're going to partition it to three equal parts. And each of these is 5. We'll put a question mark up there. All right, so what's the answer? Well, 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15, and we have 15 thirds. So I'm going to answer the expression 5 divided by 1 third. There's 15. So there's 3 thirds in one hole. And how many thirds in 5 holes? Well, there would be 15. And if 5 is 1 third, what is the hole? Again, the answer is 15. We'll do another tape diagram here. We have 3 divided by 1 fifth. So we'll make our tape diagram. And we have 3 as our whole number. We're going to partition it to 3 parts, bracket the 3. And we're going to put a number line underneath it. And we're going to partition each hole into 5 equal parts. And continue. And uh, now we label our number line. And we are just going to, in this case, do the holes. You can label each one if you want. I have zero fifths. One is five fifths. Two is ten fifths. And three is fifteen fifths. So what do I have? I'm going to go to the prop or the fill in the blank part first. How many fifths are there in one hole? We can count one, two, three, four, five. We'll put in a five. And how many fifths in three holes? We can look at the number line. There are 15 fifths in three holes. So we can, three divided by one fifth is 15. We'll do the other diagram. And it says if three is one fifth, what is the hole? My denominator is five. So I'm going to partition this into five equal parts. And we'll bracket the top. We don't know the whole. And each one of these is worth three. You could also draw a number line underneath that if you like. I didn't do that with the previous one. So we have zero, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. And the answer is fifteen. Now we have uh, another set of problems here where we're going to kind of make some generalizations here. We no may have noticed some uh, patterns with these that when we 
are dividing these, we were kind of actually multiplying. So let's uh, do this. Well, and I'll, I'll explain this a little bit as we go along here. So I have 2 divided by 1 eighth. Well, I know that 1 unit has 8 1 eighths. So 2 units has how many? Well, since 1 has 8, 2 would have 2 times 8, so that equals 2 times 8, which equals 16. They want us to uh, check our work here. So I'm going to have take my quotient, multiply it times my divisor, which gives me 16 times 1 eighth. And that equals 16 eighths, and that equals 2. And 2 brings us back to our original dividend. Again, we have 7 divided by 1 sixth, so every 1 has 6 1 6 so I have 7 1 6 or 7 uh, sixes. 7 times 6 equals 42. We'll take our answer and we'll multiply it times our, our quotient, multiply it times our divisor. And 42 times 1 6 is 42 6 equals 7. Again with G, one unit has three, three one-thirds. We have eight units here. So I'm going to have eight times three because every unit has three one-thirds and that equals 24. Check our work, take our quotient, multiply it times our divisor. I end up with 24 thirds and 24 divided by 3 is 8. One more example. Again, one unit has 4 1 fourths. So 9 units has 9 times 4. And that equals 36. Take our quotient, multiply it times our divisor, and I get 36 fourths, and that equals 9, which matches our dividend have some word problems uh, with your homework and your practice set. We'll just go over one example here. We have a chart to refer to. So let's read the first problem. How many hamburgers can Donnie make with six pounds of hamburger meat? Well here each hamburger requires one-third of a pound. So let's set up our expression here. We have six divided by one-third. That tells us our it's going to show us how many one-thirds there are in six, and I, I could make a tape diagram. I'll do it. Dividing it into six equal parts. And we'll just break this into thirds, each one of these sections. I can count them. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we can make 18. We don't need to necessarily use the diagram. We'll just use reasoning for the next two. It asks, how many pickle servings can be made from a jar of 15 pickles? Well, each serving is one-fourth of a pickle. So we have 15 divided by 1 fourth. So we have 4 1 fourths in 1. Therefore, we must have 60 1 fourths in 15. We can make uh, 60 servings of pickles. Oh, a little more complicated with this one. How many servings of chocolate milk can he serve from a gallon of milk? Well, we need to convert gallons to cups. And we know that there are two cups in a pint. So that's times two. Two pints in a quart. Two times two is four. And four quarts in a gallon. Four times four is 16. So he has 16 cups. And each portion is one half. So each cup gives us two servings. We have 16 cups 
Therefore we have 32 servings of chocolate milk from a gallon of milk. Now I'll do a few word problems here. And it's based upon this chart. We have uh, the port serving size for various foods here. So let's look at the first problem. It says how many hamburgers can Donnie make up with six pounds of hamburger meat? Well, we look at our chart, hamburger. The serving size is one third of a pound. So we have six pounds divided by one third. We can make a diagram if we like if that's helpful to you. And we're going to, since the hole is 6, we'll bracket uh, the hole, make it 6, divide it into 6 equal parts. And each one of these will be divided into 3 parts with the dotted lines. Put the number line underneath. And since our denominator is 3, we have 0 thirds. We have 3 thirds for 1. And I have 6 thirds for 2. 9 thirds for 3. 12 thirds. 15 thirds. And finally, 18 thirds for 6. But again, we, we really have uh, kind of figured this out. 6 divided by 1 third. Well, one unit has three one-thirds, so six units would be six times three, and the answer is 18. You can see that corresponds with our uh, numerator here. Uh, we'll do the next one simply using an algorithm. Pickle servings. How many pickle servings can be made from a jar of 15 pickles? Looking at our chart, each serving is one-fourth a pickle. So our whole is 15 divided by one-fourth. And we know that one unit has four one-fourths, so 15 units has to have 15 times 4, and that equals 60. So 60 pickles here. And again, we should make a statement with our word problems. Now we have servings of chocolate milk. Can he serve from a gallon of milk? Notice that we have a, a complication here in that our serving size is given in cups. So we have to figure out how many cups in a gallon. I like working backwards. If I have uh, a cup, two cups equals a pint, so times two, and two pints equals a quart, times two, and four quarts equals a gallon, times uh, four. And two times two times four equals 16. So there's 16 cups in a gallon. All right, so what's our whole then? Well, the whole is one gallon of milk. We'll have to convert that. I can say one times one gallon equals one times 16 cups. And of course, that equals 16. So we have 16 cups. That's our whole. 16 divided by one half equals 16 times 2 equals 32. All right, well, that should be adequate to give you a hand in doing your homework.